Hey guys, my name is Satendra. Welcome to my channel. Last year I have uploaded a video of single machine infinite bus system in MATLAB and this can be considered as the second part of the video in which we are going to discuss the impact of solar power and the wind energy on this infinite bus system. Our discussion will be focused on the load angle of this synchronous machine over here. So let's start. Alright, so here is the model. It's a little bit upgraded from the previous one. Not upgraded but you can say a more organized model. So in this model we have a solar power energy source that is of 50 megawatt. Just quickly check it out. Right. So at the ambient temperature of 25 degrees Celsius you will have around 50 megawatt of power. Let's see the wind energy as well. So we have a 60 megawatt wind turbine which is a DFIG. Now as we have seen the power rating of solar PV and the wind energy farm is quite substantial. So, so we are going to study the impact of these energy sources on the stability of the entire grid. So with the solar and the wind we are going to generate total 7 cases. In the first case we are going to simulate the base model in which there is no solar power or the wind farm connected to the grid. So in the first case we have to switch off the solar, we have to switch off the wind as well and the grid switch will be on. That means the synchronous machine is connected to the grid. In the second case we are going to make this solar switch on. That means this breaker will be on. That is solar photovoltaic panel will be connected to the grid. Now we can connect the solar photovoltaic panel after the transmission line or before the transmission line. So this will generate the two cases. Similarly we can generate the two cases with the wind farm. Wind farm connected after the transmission line or before the transmission line. When we say uh, connect before the transmission line that is where like uh, after just after the transformer which is directly fed through the synchronous machine over here. Okay. So now we have total five cases as of now. We are going to generate two more cases in which we have solar and wind both are connected after the transmission line and before the transmission line. So in total we are having 7 cases. So we are going to execute these 7 cases and we are going to see the impact of these uh, power sources on the transmission line stability by studying the load angle of the synchronous machine. So I have already made a script to compare the result. So I am going to load this model through this script. In the first model we have a base model. Then second one is the wind at SG that is synchronous generator. Then the wind source after the transmission line. Similarly with the solar at SG synchronous generator. And the solar after the transmission line. And the next one is wind and solar at synchronous generator. And final one is wind and solar after the transmission line. So all these will get executed and we are going to save the results of load angle in the workspace over here. So I have already executed it. So it will be a bit easier for us to compare the results because it's going to take a lot of time to simulate these models. Okay. So in this, uh, this script what it will do, it will just plot these results here. So what I'm going to do, just show you the plot. It starts from here. So in this graph, in this plot, we can see there are two damping waves. One is starting from the 0 second, another one is starting at the time 6 second. The first damping graph is of the synchronous generator. When we start the simulation, synchronous generator itself is having some oscillations which get settled about 6 second. Once the synchronous generator load angle gets settled, we are connecting our sources that is wind and uh, solar at this point after the 6th second. We need to study the load angle after the time 6 seconds. So that's it for today guys. In the next video we are going to discuss the results and why these uh, damping waves are like that. Why the load angle is changing and behaving in such way. If you guys are interested in the next part of this video please let me know in the comment section. And it takes a lots of lots of time to make these model and simulations and connecting them making the video and uploading it. So please do consider to subscribe my channel hit the like button if you have any comments or queries just post them in the comment section i will definitely try to answer that bye bye